Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wondered if you have a likable personality? I mean, you have some pretty good traits and you're true to who you are. Maybe you're looking for a friend who likes you for who you are. How do you know if they're attracted to your personality? Well, here are a few signs to help you find out. Number one, they lean towards you. Our body language reveals a lot about how we really feel. Don't we all want a closer look, a better view of the things we're enjoying? You might lean into your seat to get a closer look at that pivotal scene in a movie. This is because you're interested. The same goes for people. According to psychologist Jack Schaefer, people lean towards people they like and distance themselves from people they dislike. Inward leaning increases as rapport increases, meaning you may first turn your head towards someone, then your shoulders, followed by your torso. Then, if you're really interested in what someone has to say, you'll lean towards them. Number two, their pupils dilate. When you're first meeting someone, take a close look at their pupils. Do their pupils dilate? Then they must really like you. Or maybe you just have a lot of interesting things to say, or maybe the room is poorly lit. But according to body language expert, Patty Wood, author of Success Signals, a guide to reading body language, dilation is a brain response that occurs when you like and are attracted to something. So next time you're hanging out with someone and you see their pupils dilate, ask yourself this, is the lighting dim or are they just really happy to see me? Number three, they mirror you. Ever heard of the chameleon effect? This psychological phenomenon has been explored in several studies and can occur often in social settings. This is when we subconsciously mimic another's behavior. At a party or social event, you find yourself suddenly adopting another's body language or gestures subconsciously or even maybe consciously. Turns out, we tend to subconsciously mimic other people's behaviors in certain settings. That is, if we like them. According to psychologist Jack Schaefer, it sends a subconscious signal to the person you are with that you like them. In turn, they're predisposed to like you back. Number four, you have similar beliefs. It's clear that having something in common with the person you're talking to can increase the chance that they'll like you. There's more to talk about. You find yourself wanting to listen to their thoughts on the subject as well, and you both share your opinions in a positive light. A study by Theodore Newcomb further engraves this idea. In an experiment, Newcomb measured his subject's opinions on controversial topics. He then had the subjects live together in a house for an extended amount of time. He found the subjects who had more in common and shared beliefs on the topics recorded liked each other better compared to the subjects with opposing beliefs. Number five, they remove any barriers between the two of you. When someone likes someone, they might wanna be closer to them or remove any barriers in between them. Any obstacles in your way? They'll try to naturally move them if they really like you and have developed a good rapport with you. So that pillow on the couch, unless they're comfortably hugging it, they'll likely wanna move it. Or the purse on their lap, unless they're often shy, it can sit on the ground when they're really drawn to you. According to psychologist Jack Schaefer, people who like each other remove any obstacles between them. People who don't like the person they're with often place barriers between themselves and the person they don't like. And number six, their body language is open. Open body language is a fantastic way to tell if someone likes you or your personality. This doesn't always mean in a romantic way, but hey, if someone likes you enough to be their friend, they may like you enough to be more than friends, if you know what I mean. No? Yes? Okay, moving on. If someone is sitting in a relaxed, open position, or perhaps talks openly with their hands, they may subconsciously be showing they like you. Closed off behaviors such as keeping your arms crossed, holding your beverage, phone, or glass in front of your body, or keeping your legs crossed and body stiff can all be signs someone just perhaps isn't feeling it today, or worse, they aren't feeling you. So, do you think someone likes your personality? Do you think the two of you will become close friends now that you know? Share with us in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or someone whose personality you like. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon to get more content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.